consumers are shifting their spending from in-store to online. the secret to bringing in Katie Bickard. And we live in Long Beach, California, and we sell t-shirts online. New kayaks. Perfect. Appreciate Have it. Day. Have a good day. Oh. All right. Can't wait to get those open later. Dave and Katie just paid cash for their $2.3 million home in Long Beach, all from selling t-shirts, hoodies, hats, and other clothing online for the last two years with their digital e-commerce store. But just 10 months into the COVID-19 pandemic, over 2 million people have stayed unemployed in the state of California, and nearly half of all California-based small businesses are now estimated to fail. Uh, we sell basically anything that has a print on it. So t-shirts, hoodies, leggings, leggings, dresses. You name it, if it has a print on it, we've printed on it and we've sold it online before. I'll be closing, how can I help you? How long were you guys closed down for the, during the pandemic? Uh, I think just a few months, I don't really quite remember, but I think it was just a few months. Long Beach, certified. Is not available at this time. Mailbox is full. Okay, oh. <laughs> you can't even so, leave a voicemail. Call again later. So they're A, not open, and B, you can't leave a voicemail. Interesting. The fact that in e-commerce, you can put your product right on the screen of the thing that people want to have around them the most, you know, is extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you can do that worldwide. About brick and mortars, you tend to be very passionate about what you're selling. It's a passion business, I not guess. necessarily a lucrative business. Hey, how's it going? Oh how man, how we doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to Good see you. I'm bringing it in. Bring it in. <laughs> This is guy. That's my tug. <laughs> it's like a teddy bear hug. Oh, okay, that's good. All right, thanks. Good. Good. You guys want to see the show? Yeah. Heck yeah, let's do it. All right, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. What it do, what it does, me being where you was, but it ain't what it is. Facing the mud, y'all really be hating in the mud, said I can't pick it up, but I did. Y'all know goon put too much bass in the sub, cup full of blood, and I gave it a chug. Wait till your neighbors get all snug, then play this real loud where you live. This, that. For the kids, some some strength can't say what it is. Your kids came ain't say what he did. Make sure you move, put a chain on the gear. Yeah, I've been on top of the tower. Got the power with the man. Gun cock in his body shower. Put you down with the squeeze, that's rock the power. I done hang with the guys and we talk for hours. Yo. Uh, my name is Sam, and uh, I run a screen printing and embroidery shop here in Southern California. Um, we have 130 employees. We run 24 hours a day. Quickly, a lot of our online you know, customers, just like Dave and Katie, I remember talking to Dave saying, uh, we have to figure this out, man. I don't know how I'm gonna stay open. And <laughs> Dave's like, well, we'll figure it out. And um, they pushed the online even more. So they know what they're doing. Yep. And even our online sales, we started doing. I remember during that time, we, I would throw up like twice a day. <laughs> I would go to the bathroom and throw up. Um, and. At first it was because I was scared how we we're gonna stay open and then when we started selling online and it pivoted to, I don't know how I'm gonna produce this. You've been doing the screens here for, I forget, Sam told us a lot of years, right? Yeah, it's all burning. 30 years. 
30 years. 30 years, years wow. That's he, amazing. He haunts the walls. <laughs> so this is all getting ready to go, huh? Yeah, it's all going to cool. That's awesome. So, beautiful. And you guys yeah. already did a delivery this morning, I think I saw. Yeah, yeah. So this will be the next one. So that's what we do. Man, it's amazing what you've done here, man. It looks incredible. Gnarly, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. Shirts are sent from the print shop, which you just watched, and sent to this second warehouse to be sorted, racked, and divided up into SKUs to be sent out to customers. Okay. How we doing, Evelyn? Good. How about you? Doing yeah, fantastic. Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. What's going on? How we doing, my man? Come on in. Good to see you. Uh, hey, baby. I don't know. Hey. Yeah, this is your first time here, huh? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Well, man, let's, should we go take a look around? Yeah, let's go show you. Awesome. All these orders right here are finished orders. So gotcha. they're just waiting to be packed when they get scanned again. That's how we make sure customers don't get the wrong items. And these are what the carriers pick up. So right in there- they Oh, they pick them up straight from there, huh? They pick them up straight nice. from there. It's probably 2,000 packages in there. Wow. So another couple thousand on the way out. We already had one pickup today. So you probably have about 10,000 packages go out today. Awesome, yeah. awesome. We were able to um, link up with Cole, who you met um, earlier. So it worked out kind of perfectly that he was able to assume our business and um, our staff who already knew our product at that point. So the situation really couldn't have been better in that respect. Yep. So like, it just seems like every month that goes by is just a world of difference from the previous yeah. month. Yeah. Well, I was, I mean, pumped when you guys came in because you're talking volumes that are big and you're talking huge growth. I'm like, we gotta hitch our wagon to these guys because they're, you know, you guys were so enthusiastic about the business. Well, we're excited, man. This place looks awesome. Oh, like I said, it. if anybody needs a filament done for e-commerce, we're gonna tell them to go see Cole at OC3 oh, really Pale. Yeah. On the flip side of the booming e-commerce industry, retail has been on a trajectory decline. You stood for courage, courage for a change, and. Now I can stand before you knowing I will have the incredible privilege of serving as your next governor. Breaking news. If you are watching, the markets have just hit session lows. To the right, California Governor Gavin Newsom just now announcing, literally a minute and 30 seconds ago, that he is shutting down indoor dining, bars, movie theaters, zoos, and museums statewide because he is seeing an alarming surge in COVID-19 cases. California in the 1990s is a lot like America in 2019, 2020, 2021. And here's the real story. The California is what America is going to look like regardless of who has control. The problems California is facing can be seen all throughout the country. The death of the brick and mortar business is a future that is going to fundamentally change the economy and how we operate business. Just announcing its decision to close, despite many pleas to stay open. I feel terrible for uh, the business owners that somebody who puts their, their years of their life into building a business and building a brand. If we were uh, open, we would be able to break even at least and try to survive COVID and get to the other side. I think that's what everybody wants to do right now is just survive. The pandemic was was horrible, and uh, uh, you know a lot of businesses, like you said, were shut down. And uh, you know, when you have a brick and mortar, you can't control that. The the government comes in and says, "Hey, you can't open. You you can't open your business today." And what are you going to say say to that? You know, you, you have to not open. All right, so let's on in and see what we have going on. The best part of it was it was kind of on demand. So if we had three hundred dollars to invest in the business, we could. It wasn't like we needed that initial like thirty thousand, fifty thousand dollar investment to even start. Yeah. You can start with as much as you have. There's really no um, limitations. You know, yeah, there's no limitation to it. The money, 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 money. Oh, oh, oh. So here we have the front office. Here, this is the reception's office. We got a computer here. We used to answer phone calls here. 
Come on in here, we've got Katie's office. She makes at least one design every single day. By doing that and by constantly releasing new product, uh, we're constantly capturing the low hanging fruit. You know, our best customers always have something to rebuy. She's the only one in the office that has uh, her own big window. She loves it. I love the sunlight. Rocky sits there and looks outside all day. Bring it into the first guy. This is the man of the house right here. This is Zach. He's the director of inventory. This is where all the magic happens here. So anything that we sell, this guy sources the blanks, takes the blanks, sends them over to the print shop, where the print shop will print them, deliver them over to our fulfillment center, and ship them out to customers. So a whole host of other things. And a whole host of other things. <laughs> so my office here. It's going to be a huge amount of stuff to pull it at. Yeah. So you'll see here, April 24th, 2020, uh, we uh, hit this design that clearly did pretty well here. And we did $320,000 in a single day. And I'm not sure, let's go ahead and take a look. So I think in four days we did about a million dollars. 24, 25, 26, 27. Yep. Yeah, four days. And then, like this particular week, we had 821,000 people shopping on our store, on, on just this, on our main brand here. Here we're gonna step into what used to be the warehouse. So we actually used to fulfill orders in here and anything past that carpet and coming into hardwood floor used to just be all cement and warehouse space. And then we'll come on back. So again, this used to be all warehouse space here, which is now our big conference room where we can come in here and we've got our table here where we sit down and have meetings and talk marketing. We wouldn't even go too far even to exercise. We had the exercise okay. spin lights. <laughs> which we still use them. That's true, right? Well, every once in a while. Luis, how we doing? Good, how you doing? Uh, fantastic, man, always. This is Luis, and uh, he's, uh, he also helps with managing inventory, helps Zach. And uh, again, this is where, honestly, we've got the easy, easy jobs. These guys, yeah. they all make it happen. It's a leg work. <laughs> Without both of them, we'd have no t-shirts to sell. That'd be a problem. We're gonna come on in here to Jenna's office. Jenna, how are we doing? Great, how are you? Oh, fantastic, as always. Jenna is our marketing manager, and uh, she makes all the magic happen on the organic side. So she manages a Facebook page, Instagram page, and you can probably tell them better than I, than I can. Yep. Um, I do all organic, so SMS, email, brand ambassador program. She does the more important stuff with bigger margins. <laughs> all the fun stuff. And we'll go ahead and come on back here. So we have this. Just 10 feet of warehouse space left. Yes, this is what that used to look like. So it was all just cement, and we had inventory and had no more room for warehouse space. Right. So we built out offices so we could strategize for marketing and all the fun stuff. Yeah, we love how it turned out. My whole life into my 30s, I just kind of waited for this golden nugget to like be dropped into my lap. And uh, you know, you know, one of these days I'm gonna be super rich and it's gonna be dropped right here and I'm just gonna kill it. I mean, that golden nugget, that free golden nugget, never comes. That so, would have been one of my biggest regrets if I hadn't have met you. Right. If it wasn't for meeting her, oh my gosh, that would be a big regret too. Yeah. We'll talk about how you two met. Oh. Yeah, my. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, oh <laughs> we met on an online video game, or actually a mobile app uh, game called Clash of Clans. And uh, <laughs> I mean, I love it. And uh, this is so nerdy. I, I love geeking out on he this stuff. He was my clan leader. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had a clan that it was, we were extremely competitive. It was way more than just a game. I mean, it was a huge community of people that all play the game and, and all the, the best players in the whole world. Today it's possible to build these big global businesses that actually are very small in size. These global businesses can touch the lives of hundreds of millions of people all around the planet. Uh, I started, I was, I was playing just about uh, the whole day that I wasn't working uh, outside, so I'd work for about seven hours or so. Uh, I'd get home and I'd play it the whole time until I fell asleep and I'd wake up and repeat. I was playing at, at least 12 hours a day. I mean, I don't really know because I wasn't uh, keeping track, but... Uh, it was a lot. It was a lot. I'd say that I really hated my life. I couldn't, I couldn't take it anymore. It wasn't quite that much for me, but I had just moved 
um, from New York City where I had a great group of friends to North Carolina where I knew nobody to open this brick and mortar. And so for me, that was kind of my after work escape and way to um, talk to people. And everybody in your group, you get to know them really well. So you're actually invested in what's going on in their lives. So you come home from work and it's your version of like hanging out with your friends. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's exactly that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I had, we had like a three month waiting list. Yeah. There's no way you can join. <laughs> and uh, I remember she applied and uh, I, I saw her profile picture and I thought for sure it was fake. You know, you know, beautiful girl and uh, actually a great player too. Is it don't run into those every day. Like at some point for our players, the most important reason to come back to the game is it might not even be the game anymore. It's actually the other people who you met via the game and, and formed uh, uh, social uh, relationships with. Ultimately, it's not you stopping yourself from your dreams. It's this giant ocean of unknowns you don't know about yet. You know, you don't know about anything until somebody tells you about it. So it's just not something that got brought up. Plus, I think it's just such a normal part of life now that it kind of is just normal. It happens all around you and you don't actually think about it. It's like thinking about how the groceries got to the grocery store. You know, how does the package get to your door? You don't think about the behind the scenes of e-commerce. It's just part of normal life. We didn't care about making anything specific work. We just cared about making, making something work. work. Did you guys ever think three years ago you would become multi-millionaires off of t-shirts? No. no. No, absolutely not. I had a lot of uh, things that I thought I might do. Selling t-shirts online, that wasn't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> we were cycling through products, you know, we started 3D pen filament, then we went to ponytail hats, and then we went to this other store that we were going to launch called Puppy After Party. It was a cute <laughs> idea. We were going to uh, review dog breeds and become YouTube sensations. And sell like dog toys. And <laughs> Which we never did uh, anything with that, but it, it was a fun idea. If you don't have a business model that makes people want to come back, you just have a hustle. Right. And you're going to continue to have to spend more money to acquire new customers every time you want to sell something as opposed to giving them a great experience and having them come back and buy on their own because they enjoy working with your brand. Like, oh, this thing isn't possible. It's like, well, did you check? Like, did you try? Or you're just telling me it's not possible? Because I can guarantee you nine times out of 10, they didn't try. Through our own experience, you try things that people tell you you can't do or aren't possible. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You can do them or you can find a way to make them work. Companies like yourself and e-commerce just seem to be doing so well right now with no sign of let up. I mean, we, we were concerned, oh, maybe things will slow down a little bit. And it seems like this trend is something that people are just more used to buying online and it's great. Yeah, yeah, it definitely seems like it's here to stay. We're about to hit memory lane right now. Yeah. Right up here. I think the owner should have left us a key, so let's hope we can get in. Quite some time. Yeah. Well, welcome home, huh? <laughs> welcome back home. Welcome back home. Whoa. Whoa. My goodness. Wow, this looks beautiful. Well, that is uh, quite the difference. So this used to be just old hardwood floor here. And uh, all along these walls here were just racks. Black, big black racks. And uh, that's a product. Wow, it looks, it looks amazing. There's no more lint, there's no more hoodies, t shirts are gone. Wow, look at that. Remember that big light that we had here? Yeah, that's where I had some lighting because uh, the hoodies blocked everything over there. We had to get big, um, big lights actually up here just because, like Katie said, um, this was just covered in racks and, and hoodies on top, so there was no sunlight coming. Friday weekend. Still have one more day. Cyber Monday is tomorrow. Woo! Can't wait. Alright, 5 a.m. I'm going to bed. All of these hoodies need to go, including these racks, including those boxes, including these boxes, and all these racks and hoodies. Why in the world would you focus that much effort into something that isn't going to last?
So I just want to say, man, we apologize. It's been just a crazy week last week. This coming week's gonna be nuts. You see, if you look hard enough, there's actually a machine operating in front of you that's been there all this time along. It's just e-commerce. And so we looked at each other and said, okay. we need a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> the staff had filled up the bed with hoodies. And it's like, okay, so this is definitely no longer a home at this point. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Well, we want to thank you both for 12, I think we're here about 12 years. Man, a lot of memories in this house. ships starting tomorrow. So here is April of 2020, which doesn't even feel like that long ago. And our return customer rate here is 12% because we were just acquiring so many new customers at that point. Yep. And when we fast forward to um, this month, when we look at it, you know, I, we've been hitting 40% or over for repeat customers on a daily basis. Yep. So um, that I think has been a huge building block to the business. After spending about $8 million in uh, Facebook and Instagram, ads uh, you, you learn a few things I'm by no means an expert but uh, he's being humble he we, does a great job <laughs> but we do okay month of September there we did 103,000 orders on this brand not too bad I would say that a US lot of packages to send out. <laughs> USPS likes us yeah there we go you know we've given our business to God and uh, uh, you know without him we'd be nowhere Amazon, and I guess we didn't update our address with them. Yeah, this looks like old, uh, old product from one of our older listings. Yeah. If you want to learn how to start your own online business with your own crazy idea, just go to TreyCall.com. Learn the format to create an online sustainable business that is profitable, one that you totally own and control. You see, we'll show you how to build a website, choose a product, choose a market and sell to your consumers worldwide. There are no limits. Join us, mentor with us, and we can show you how to do it just like my students did with their business. Again, that's treycall.com. T-R-E-Y-C-A-L-L.com. We'll see you on the other side. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones, go see on you. I kept the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep. Cause I'm working nights, hey You trying to shut me out, it's getting blatant Hey, I come and see you, now no hesitation Yeah, I'm really, really tired of being patient Hey, if you won't give it to me, I'ma take it Take it If you won't give it to me, I'ma take it